Howdy folks, welcome to another episode of Tool Tech Tips. This week, we're checking out another one of my favorite tools. Well, I mean, all these are kind of my favorite tools, but we've got step drill bits. The reason why these are my favorite is just because it's a really versatile tool for what you get out of it. If you wanted to drill a hole for maybe a vandal switch, it'll do that for you. If you want to drill a hole for maybe a pass-through fitting or another type of fitting, it'll do that as well. It's really handy because they come in a bunch of different sizes and you can get pretty large diameters. So it will kind of cover a lot of bases instead of forcing you to buy a whole set of regular twist drills. And there's another couple cool features about them. So let's just dive on in and see why the step drill bit is so great. Alrighty folks, so first things first, once you get your panel picked out or your part that you want to drill a hole in, you got to figure out how big you got to make your hole. So we'll take our vandal switch here and measure with our digital calipers. We got about 22 millimeters. So we can take our step bit and you can pick your appropriate one now if you have an assortment. Obviously this one's uh, in SAE units, but it's about 7 eighths of an inch getting pretty close to an inch there. So we probably want to go to that nicely marked spot on our step bit. If your step bit doesn't have some nice markings like that, um, a nice trick is using a rubber band. You can put a rubber band around this and you go until you get to your rubber band. Otherwise, you can just do the guess and check method as well. Now, like I said, you gotta pick out the appropriate size step bit. Obviously, this one right here wouldn't work in this scenario. We could start with it. However, it does not get big enough for our vandal switch. Next up, you gotta mark out your hole. I always recommend uh, punching using a metal punch or at least a pointy, very hard object to put a little divot where you want your hole to be. This will just help your initial drill not slip. Now, if you've got a nice, fresh, new step bit, especially like this one that I have here, you can just go ahead and start drilling with it. However, I typically will start with a much smaller uh, twist drill and get a pilot hole started. It just kind of eases the process of getting the step bit started and not having it walk on you. So now at first they may seem like the step bit takes a little bit to get going. But once it actually does start to grab and cutting, you'll notice that it does get through its steps quite quickly. So take your time, pay attention to how far you gotta go. And like I said, if you gotta pull it out and check before you go any further. So now with a thicker piece of a material, especially like this aluminum we have here, you'll notice that the step actually doesn't get all the way through the material on some of the steps. So you may want to go back to the other side of the hole and drill it out there as well, just so you get an even cut throughout the whole surface. And as you can see here, the step bit usually leaves a nice little chamfer around the edge of your hole, meaning you don't have to go back and clean it up later. Alrighty folks, now that we've got our test piece all squared away with the vandal switch, I want to take you guys through drilling a couple holes for some pass-through fittings. This is on a panel for my Spectre, that's why it's all taped up and uh, only clamped on a nice soft mat on a table. I can't scratch the paint or ruin the paint, so we're going to have to settle for this. So as you can see here, the pass-through fitting measures almost 20 millimeters, so we're going to go just about to that same mark of 7 eighths of an inch on the step bit.
One down, one to go. Well, that pretty much wraps up this little how-to on the step bits. I know it's kind of short and sweet. There's not too much to them. If you guys have used some step bits in the past, let me know how you guys liked them. Uh, if you guys got any questions, please leave those in the comments too. I've been really enjoying reading your comments and seeing how much you guys like this series, so I'll be sure to keep it coming. Otherwise, you can find your own set bits at PPCs, of course, so I'll have those linked right down below in the description for you. If you like this episode, hit that like button for me, and subscribe if you guys want to see some more. But until then, I hope you all have a great day, and happy water cooling!